all right today we are going to uh, practice the uh, customer value uh, solutions before we do our problem let's see where we can find the templates you need to go to navi.weebly.com where you can see a folder ms460 if you click here that will take us to the google drive in the lab file we have a separate folder called customer value and inside this you can find the files it's taking time to load I already have uh, downloaded that in the desktop so I can use that so there you go the files <coughs> here we have two problems and we will solve one after another so now uh, please uh, read the, the problems first problem one Now we have read that. Now we are going to solve it. That's our template. The first thing we have here discounted is given 15%. Sorry, 15% the discount rate. The retention rate is 80%. Sorry. number of customers we start with 100 and then we reduce the number by the retention rate this retention rate would be fixed So in order to fix that we hit F4 and we drag. So we get those now the profit is the mean profit multiplied by the number of customers. That's what we got. Afterwards we have to find the in PV per customer we have an issue here we can't use the simple NPV because here we have customers at the beginning so we can't use simple NPV we can use simple NPV if that's end but here we need to do some stuff more calculation what we need to do in order to get the NPV is equals one plus the rate multiplied by the NPV of the strings but you know that that's for all the customers but here we have NPV per customer so what we need to do is divide that number by 100 so it's a summary table there we just keep input now what should be the NPV per customer if our retention rate is 85 
we only need to change this value 85 and we get 193.15 so this is the manual input table Now, the second problem, just have some time to read the problem. We are done reading the problem. Let's do it. We have to give one time incentive. We don't know that value. Just put 100 here and make it arbitrary. So it's arbitrary value we put. We have the probability to leave. And our retention rate is one minus probability. Probability to come. And computer's retention rate is one minus probability to come. And all revenue per customer four hundred. Profit margin. 10% and a discount rate 10%. So that's what we have. We have two scenarios scenario one, scenario two. In the scenario one, we do not pay customers any incentive. So in the scenario one, we start with having customers. But at the end of year one, easy phone will have 30 customers. So if there is 30, here it should be 70. So that's it. So the market comes of 100 customers. So at the end, we have, if easy phone has 30, the competitor's customer number should be 70. And in order to get the other numbers, what we need to do, we have to multiply the probability. So, how many customers will have? Our customers into probability, sorry, our retention rate. So that's our retention rate plus competitors customer multiplied by the probability to come we have to make sure b4 this value and b5 this value are fixed whereas this number would be similar so here we here we have 100 minus 30 and there we have 64 so we have it and if we drag it we'll get the values so when we did not pay any incentives then our profit is number of customers multiplied by 
annual revenue multiplied by the profit margin you know the revenue and profit margin should be fixed so you got the values put it here now for NPV for one here we as as you can see that we have here dates the dates we have to use X and PV red is counter and the profit stream sorry so the values and the dates Now, in the second bit, in the second scenario, as we paid incentive, we have 100 customers and our computer has 100 minus G, 12. Now, once again, that's similar. So, we have our customer base multiplied by our retention rate fixed plus number of competitors multiplied by their losing rate those two needs to be fixed and I can drag and I also can drag this Now for the profit, we calculated that we have number of customers, annual revenue and the profit margin. But here we actually paid the incentive. So we have to consider that. So G12, annual revenue, profit margin, minus number of customers multiplied by the incentive so that's the profit and in the year 2 we have usual G13 B7 fixed multiplied by profit margin B8 fixed and we drag that and we'll find the XNPV here the rate count it profit streams and death our goal is to find a scenario where the NPV difference is zero so the NPVs are same so we need to find out that we will use goal stick so we go to data what you can analyze is goal stick set cell E5 to value 0 by changing variable T2 if we solve we get the result 34.22 that's, that's the solution that's the solution we are seeking for so we practice the problem 1 and problem 2 using the given scenarios Thanks for watching.